Good morning and welcome to Nantong, China. My name is Jade Tremblay and I'll be taking over International TOEFL Academy's Instagram today. So a little bit about me. I'm from Vancouver, Canada originally. I'm 35 years old and I've been teaching in China for two years now. Currently, I'm working at a Chinese international school. So I work in the primary school and it's my job to teach the children to speak and write in English. Uh, eventually, our school has a middle school and a high school. So the high school's goal is for their students to move on to university in the USA or Australia. So if the children end up moving on to high school, that will be an eventual goal for them. I teach grade one English. I teach three different classes, but I'm not allowed to take you into the classroom with the, me today. But I did take some footage of what my classrooms typically look like the other day. So I'll show that to you now and I'll get back to you later with some more information. This is what a classroom looks like. Every class has a smart board and a blackboard. And that blackboard actually pulls out and makes two blackboards. Some books. Our backboard with the English corner. A water cooler. And all of the kids right now are sitting in single rows. Usually they'd sit in doubles, but social distancing. At many international schools where the student population is mainly foreign children, then yes. But because I work at a primary school and my children are Chinese, they have the children at the school have a range of English skills. The majority of them, when they come to school in grade one, they know very little English um, or their English skills are really basic. So it's my job to teach them English so that we can start preparing them so that we can start preparing them for their future. Um, so my job is ESL based. My degree was in history and anthropology and I only have a TEFL certificate. Um, I think maybe if you work in the high school, then you might have a bachelor's of education. Originally, I actually wanted to work in Japan or South Korea, but I chose China because when I was looking at postings for jobs, it was just more lucrative. The money's good, cost of living's low, lots of time to, to travel. So, I live on a big campus. This is elementary school. That's middle school. That is the high school dormitories and the high school over there. I think the campus is actually really beautiful. It's a really nice place to live and they have ducks. This is where the foreign teacher dormitories are. It's about a two minute walk to the primary school. So it's nice and close. So I'm just on my lunch break right now and I came home so that I could show you my apartment. So here is the door to the rest of the complex. I live in a building just with other teachers at campus. This is what you see when you walk in. A little area for my shoes. And I think it's a pretty normal bathroom. Um, I have a western shower, which I'm grateful for. Both of my other showers in China were wet rooms. So this one closes. And you don't have to get the whole bathroom which is lovely uh, Western toilet but I've never had not a Western toilet in China so I think that's pretty normal and sink mirror hot water tank the best thing about Chinese bathrooms is you have these heating lamps up here um, so if it's really cold in the winter and you have to shower you can turn them on and it makes you nice and warm it also dries the bathroom when it's wet so you don't grow mold. So leaving the bathroom, you come into the main area of the apartments. We've got a giant queen size, king size bed. A trunk that I bought on Taobao for super cheap. TV and desk, which came with the apartment. All of my Kwai D. And a beautiful view out to my neighbor's 
apartment, but also if you look this way, you see a river that goes all over town. If you turn around, there's my kitchen. Um, I think it's a good kitchen. A lot of storage, which I haven't had in previous apartments. Most things came with it, except for the drying rack. I bought that on Taobao and the oven, which I bought on Taobao. Um, my school actually provides me with water bottles from the school since I live on campus. So that's handy, free water. If you turn around, you've got the patio, but it's enclosed, so I just treat it like part of my apartment. That is where the washing machine is and the drying racks, which I've started using for my jackets. And again, out this window, there's a really nice view. So I just wanted to take a moment to discuss my apartment a little bit. I do live in a foreign teacher apartment complex that is on campus. So I live with about 10 or 15 different teachers who are also working at the schools that are here with me. Um, it's kind of an interesting atmosphere. Uh, last year I lived off campus, but I was at a different school in a different city and it was a different experience entirely. My apartment's very small, but it kind of has everything I need and is actually one of the nicest apartments that I've had in China. The school that I work at is also a boarding school, so as well as the foreign teachers, also many of the students live here and many of the Chinese teachers. They have different dormitories all around campus. Even the primary students live on campus with us. So before I ended this, I wanted to talk a little bit about the last few months of my life. In January, I left for Chinese New Year vacation, and a few days after I left, the news kind of started to break about COVID-19. Uh, I got stuck outside of China for about two months, and for that time, I taught online. But since I only teach grade one, uh, much of my teaching was based around pre-recorded lessons and homework that I assigned them. Um, and then when I returned, had to do a centralized quarantine in a hotel and then another 14 days in my apartment. So I did a full 28 days of solo quarantine. It was intense. Now, when once I was released though, we went right back to school. School started back up. It's been back in session for over a month now. Life in China, or at least in the area of China that I'm in has almost entirely gone back to normal or at least as normal as it's going to get for the time being. People have even started to remove their masks as it's no longer uh, it's no longer required by the government. So uh, that's been nice. When I'm still when I'm in busy places like the grocery store, I still wear one. But um, for the most part, it feels very normal here. It feels very safe. I feel like I'm in the safest place in the world and the only thing that I really worry about is my family back home. I'm on the verge of falling asleep and I can't even talk straight anymore so I am going to end this here. I wanted to say thank you so much for joining me in a day in my life and I hope you found the information that I shared helpful. If you wanted to continue to follow along with my story you can follow me at jadasaurusrex on Instagram. Uh, yeah, thank you. And goodbye.